Welcome to our tape. Today we're going to talk about Victron's line of BMSs. A BMS stands for Battery Management System. It's responsible for protecting your battery from over and under temperature and over and under voltage. It does that by turning off charging or discharging appropriately. One of the big benefits with an external BMS from Victron and what's unique about it in the space is that it will isolate charging and discharging control. So you can turn off discharging without turning off charging or turn off charging without turning off discharging. Victron has a few different BMSs that range in both price and application. Starting in front of me, I have the small BMS. The small BMS is a really cost-effective external BMS solution for Victron smart lithium batteries. You get all of the main features. It's gonna communicate with the batteries and monitor that over and under voltage, over and under temperature. You're gonna be able to isolate charging and discharging, but it doesn't have advanced communication to the rest of the system. This means that we don't have a VE bus control and we don't have VE CAN control either. This is a great solution if you're not going to use a VE bus product such as a MultiPlus or a Quattro, or if you need advanced communication for say, alternator regulation, or you want to have all of that data from the BMS displayed on a GX device. However, for really simple systems, it's really cost effective, it's really compact size as well, and it can fit in really small spaces. This also has your remote ports on it via an L and an H line, and this allows you to add in an external switch, which allows you remote on off control of this particular BMS. One of the common misconceptions with the small BMS, specifically in relation to the way that it's labeled, is the fact that on here it says load and charger. These are not to power your loads or for your charge input. These are to control your load devices, such as a battery protect to cut off loads. The charger is designed to control your charging devices, say an MPPT or an Orion alternator charger. You do not want to run your alternator charger or your charge devices directly into this in the same way you do not want to run your loads directly off of this. Moving on from the small BMS, we have the VBus BMS, specifically the version 2. With this, you will get a VBus mains detector. This is really important to use with the first generation MultiPlus and Quattros. On the MultiPlus 2s and the newer models of the Quattros, you don't have to use the VBus BMS mains detector. That's all built in. The VBus BMS version 2 was specifically made to work with MultiPlus and Quattros, and you'll see on the front here it actually says MultiPlus and Quattro for one of those VBus ports. On the other side of that RJ45, you'll see the remote panel. This can either go up to a digital multi control or digital multi control GX. It can also be used to display this data into a GX device, such as a servo or an Ecrano device. It's gonna have very similar outputs from the small BMS in terms of you'll obviously need battery positive to power it, but this also has a GX external power on here. So this would be used to power a servo or an Ecrano directly off of this, and that allows for a staged shutdown approach when using that feature. You've also got your load and charge disconnects, which are being appropriately labeled on here, and it has a pre-alarm as well. So typically you'll use this hooked up to your MultiPlus and Quattros and then you'll control your other independent charging and loads directly off of the OGS outputs. You'll have your remote port to turn it on and off remotely so you can feed this through any latching switch to be able to turn this off. And then you'll see the standard M8 circular connectors that all of the other BMSs will have as well for your battery connection. One of the updates with the VBus version 2 is that now you can control your MultiPlus or Quattro without needing a digital multi-control directly from the touchscreen. That previously wasn't a feature, so that's really nice. Moving on from the VBus BMS version 2, we have the Smart CL series. These come in both a 100 and a 200. These are a cost-effective solution to provide both alternator charging as well as your BMS regulation. On these units, you will have a fuse location. This is going to assist with your alternator regulation. Depending on the fuse size that you put in here, you have to program that appropriately and based on the resistance to that fuse, then it will limit the alternator charging appropriately. These are nice because you still have your standard battery connections, you've got your remote on and off, and then your independent charge and load disconnects on here. You can use these with MultiPlus or Quattros, but it does require uh, specific cabling and it can be a little more annoying to program versus using a BMS that's specific for that application. 
However, once again, these are great cost-effective solutions where space is a premium and you want to get multiple applications built into a single unit. Lastly, we have the Lynx Smart BMS. This is the premium BMS from Victron. It's made basically to combine several components into one. It has an internal contact in there, which is really important for 48 volt systems because it assists with that pre-charge circuit. It's also got a shunt built in there. Because you have a shunt built into this BMS and BMSs from Victron have to be used with smart lithium Victron batteries, it knows what it's hooking up to and therefore it eradicates a lot of the programming that you would typically find if you were to use an external shunt like a BMV, a 712 or a smart shunt. This Link Smart BMS communicates over VECAN and so when it's put into an appropriate network it communicates very well to external devices such as wake speed regulators. I would say this is probably the premium choice on the market to pair with a wake speed regulator. These come in a range of different sizes. You have the M8 500, you also have the M10 1000, so a 1000 amp version versus the 500 amp version. And this is going to be the first BMS that is going to come out to support the new next generational NG batteries from Victron later this year. That's gonna be really nice because at the moment, all of these BMSs have an analog communication to the batteries, whereas we're moving to a digital later in 2024. It's gonna be really important because we can pull critical data directly from the batteries up onto the GX device and VRM for the first time, which is really exciting. These BMSs do take a little bit to get used to wire. They've got uh, 11 ports on the bottom, which is your auxiliary out. And then you've got your ATC and ATD line, a relay control, which is primarily used in alternator charging applications. And then you've got your remote port for on off on this. Because this is a Bluetooth enabled BMS, when you pair this with a Lynx distributor using the supplied cable, then you actually get Bluetooth monitoring of up to four Lynx distributors of their fuses. This is really nice because you can then label those fuses with both what they're going to, as well as the fuse size, so that if something was to happen in the future, then whoever had this installed would already know the relevant information to be able to replace that fuse. I would say in 90% of our applications, we pick the Lynx BMS and mainly that's because we're doing second alternator installations or we're doing 48 volt commercial work and need that pre-charge circuit. Thanks for following in today talking about Victron's line of BMSs. If you have any questions, please reach out to our staff and as always, we'll leave the applicable links in the description below.